A one-of-a-kind event is back for its second year, where our state's best, most competitive skiers feel like kids again, combining the best of Nordic and Alpine skiing. This is Nordic X. Big air. Big wipeouts. And big time skiers. Dude, the competitors here are legit. That is the Nordic X experience. It's like NASCAR and toothpicks. I mean, you know, you got turns, you got people spinning out. That's what Nordic X is. Where two Olympians dash and crash into the finish. And another finishes without an important piece of equipment. One ski for three quarters of it. It's better than none, though. <laughs> Where the state's top international, collegiate, and high school skiers let loose and celebrate another laborious season. It's really fun, and especially not having the nerves, because there's not really any pressure at all. You just come out here to have a good time, and yeah, it's really good. Chasing the feeling of when they first strapped on the skis. Oh, for sure. This is like what's fun about skiing. Yeah. The racing is one thing, but like this is definitely like why we all do it. I mean, this is why I got into skiing in the first place, because it's all about play. I mean, as a kid, the more I went uphill, the more I got to come downhill. And so uh, this is just like kind of the adult version. An event you don't want to miss. I had to be part of it. I had so much FOMO last year when I wasn't. Ugh, can't get these off. An idea sparked by Anchorage local Reese Hanneman in its second of potentially many years. I always had an event like this sort of in my mind, and I thought maybe we could make it something like this. So to see it come to reality is just is really rewarding, and uh, it's an awesome way to finish off the season. So. What an epic event put on by the ski community. South High's Owen Young, who you saw 360 at the end there, won the junior boys race. Parker Stevens for the girls. Olympians J.C. Schoonmaker and Gus Schumacher atop the podium for the men, while we saw current Olympian Haley Swirbel just edge former Olympian Keegan Randall, while Robin Miller yet to graduate high school in third behind those two, so pretty cool company for her to be in. And while Keegan's father, Ron, is no longer having to chase her around the World Cup circuit, he will still be there to support her in whatever she does, including Nordic X, and he was out at Hilltop with a historic piece of memorabilia. So this flag has been on the World Cup for, so it's, let's see, I probably got this flag in about 2012 in New York City. Where they made them to the World Championships in Slovenia, Planica, Slovenia. And then it went on to races in Sweden, in Poland, Sweden, uh, Tallinn, Estonia, and Lochte, Finland. So, uh, plus all the other years that it's made it to Olympics and World Cups. <laughs> 